Hello again, everybody, and welcome to our weekly interview on WWE.com. My guests this week enter our forum for the very first time, the SmackDown Live tag team known as American Alpha, Chad Gable, and Jason Jordan. Welcome, guys. Thanks, Thanks for, for having us. us. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited to Me sit too. down and have the opportunity to talk to you all. I want to start with Chad. Sure. Uh, four years ago, 2012, you were in the Olympic Games. Now you're on SmackDown Live. What was the biggest difference from moving from the amateur ranks in the Olympics into what we do here in WWE? The biggest. Uh, there's a lot, first of all, but uh, the crowd here, the crowd is so different. And the way that you have to let the crowd affect you, you have to use them. Uh, I know that Jason and I use them in a way that, like, we would not perform the way that we do without the crowd. Uh, and, you know, in the Olympics or in, in amateur wrestling, I couldn't do that. You can't let the crowd affect you. You can't let them, because that could cost you a match. That could get to you. We use their energy here. We need their energy. And you can see us use it in a match. And it's just a whole different, like, it's just a whole different feel out there than you ever get. And you have to let them in. And you have to give it back to them. It's just, it's awesome. We feed off of them. Jason, uh, I've known you and followed you since you started here. Yeah. Um, we always knew you had the potential. Um, you had everything. Five-tool player, as they like to say. But there was always something missing. It just didn't quite click. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, out of the blue, <laughs> you team up with this guy. Weird. And it was one <laughs> night, and I remember I was there. It was at an NXT show at Full yeah. Sail. And you tagged in, and you went completely insane. And you had this energy that I had never felt from you before. And it was that night that we realized, wow, American Alpha's arrived. What was it about teaming with Chad that turned your career around? Uh, I think what it is is just like we have this like innate, this natural chemistry between us. And in some ways I can relate with Chad being, being like my brothers. And I think that just makes me so much more comfortable and it just allows me to just open up and be myself and like and just loosen up. And when I'm allowed to just be myself and, and feel free, and like I, I I was able to do what we did. I believe that was uh, take over respect, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. And it, it was literally just like something came over me and it was it was not thinking, not wondering, you know, what if, what if we don't win? What if this doesn't happen? It was just, just do us. us. Be, be a zen. Yeah. <laughs> and, and when it happened, and I, and, I, and that moment of when, when I finally felt it, and it was just the crowd came in on it, the crowd reacted, and, and that just, I almost lost it. Like, it was to the point where I remember I was almost in tears. I was, I was taking out Baron Corbin, I believe. And when it happened, I suplexed him, and I came up, and I pulled the straps down, and the crowd was there, and it was just like, wow. Like, like time just stood still. And I, I was able to capture that moment and capture that feeling and feed off of that. And it's allowed us to continue to move forward and make steps to becoming what we are now. And you did move forward because I want to take everyone to NXT TakeOver Dallas because that's when you arrived. You won the tag team titles. What an emotional night for you guys, right? Yeah. So... You mentioned the Olympics briefly. Uh, believe it or not, that was obviously the greatest day of my life and at the same time, one of the worst days of my life because, as you know, I came up a little bit short there at the Olympics, right? Now, to have this goal my entire life and then kind of come up short is like something was missing. Uh, there was still something in me, a little, there was fire left, and I needed, I needed to fill that little gap that I left, and we found this opportunity, and, like, which, which is funny that you say that because the same thing happened for me with my NCAA uh, career. I was number one ranked heavyweight and came into the NCAA tournament and came up short. I didn't win a national championship. I didn't even All-American. And the same exact feeling that Chad had with the Olympics, I had. And for us, this Dallas thing was like, this is our chance. Like, we Redemption. can redeem ourselves here, you know? Like, we got our chance to win on the big stage. Like, you guys were in tears. Exactly. It's... The, the the culmination of so many things coming together, the, like a lifetime of hard work coming to one moment and it, and it all paid off because we, we knew what it felt like to get to that point, to be so close, to, to be so close to achieving your dreams, your goals, and everything's there and everything can fall into place and that doesn't happen. And 
and it can mentally ruin you. It for really an athlete, can. For an athlete, that's the worst, worst thing in the world. There's nothing worse. So when we got a shot at redemption and it happened and it didn't slip through our hands again, it's hard not to get emotional. It's hard not to come to tears when it finally happens. A couple other questions. Uh, I want you to reenact something for me because I was actually at the announced desk during SmackDown Live um, when the announcement was made that American Alpha had been drafted SmackDown Live. You guys were watching this live at the Performance Center yes. in yeah. Orlando. Yes. I'm the camera. I'm on you. You hear your names. What was your reaction? The buildup was terrible, first of all, because <laughs> Daniel Bryan said we're drafting the best tag team in NXT. Now, I'm of the opinion, obviously, that we were the best tag team in NXT, but he has a very interesting take on wrestling. So you don't know what he's thinking. Excellent. But when he started the catchphrase, kind of settled down, and I'm like, he's got to be saying it. Yeah. And like, to be honest, the way that he did it and the enthusiasm that he said all these things with, he didn't have to do that, you know? Yeah. He made it seem like this enormous deal. But what did you do when you heard your names? I, I, me, I froze. You I did. I, I looked like, at him for like, like, like do something. Do something. Do something. I was just like, oh my God, it's, it happened. It's, it's happening. I this think is I was real. just cheesing. <laughs> and then like finally when it was like, snap out of it. Like, it, no, it's real. And like I turned and looked and your smile was like, it's real. It's happening. <laughs> and that, that was my reaction was just, wow. Like it actually finally is happening. So guys, this is real. The fact that you're in a tournament yeah. to crown the first ever SmackDown tag team champions you've already advanced so how do you plan on winning the gold oh that's easy right yeah should should we tell them? do you want to start, start, yeah, you yeah. start you start we're gonna stay ready willing and gable so sick <laughs>